Don't ask Nigerians to sacrifice if you cannot make sacrifices. P2B, the Labour Party's candidate, tackles Bola Ahmed Tinibu over large convoy. Obi's comment comes amid the outrage being expressed by Nigerians over the large convoy of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu during a recent visit to Lagos State. The candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, P2B, has taken a swipe at President Bola Ahmed Tinibu over a viral video of his long convoy following his arrival in Lagos from Europe on Wednesday. Obi's comment comes amid the outrage being expressed by Nigerians over the large convoy of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. He spoke at St. Faith Cathedral, Church of Nigerian Anglican Communion, Aqua, during the burial of the late Dean Emeritus of the Church of Nigeria, the Most Reverend Maxwell Anikweme, who died at age 83. He said leaders who ask followers to sacrifice for a better Nigeria must also lead by examples. According to him, there was a need to cut down on the cost of governance, which has always been his position about governance. Obi, who said he had not seen the viral video of the motorcade, spoke like many other critics of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu on the same matter, describing it as absurd. He said, I have not seen the video you talked about, but let me tell you what I have always said, that present Nigeria requires that all those who serve and lead must do so by example. The behavior, the character, and public conduct of those who serve must be in consonance with what the society requires today. You cannot continue to preach to the people to sacrifice without sacrificing. The sacrifice must start with the leaders, visible, measurable at all times, because the people are suffering and we must all be at the forefront of the suffering. Peter will be the Labour candidate, Labour Party's candidate, while speaking on the life of the late Archbishop Anikwenwa, said he is not just a pastor of God, but a great Nigerian who contributed to this country beyond his pastoral work in building a better Nigerian. He is involved in advocating for a better Nigeria, good governance and others. He was a great Nigerian and a great Igbo man, and I am not surprised about the number of people at this burial ceremony today. A statement from the Obidati Media Organization, which was signed by Diri Anonifade, pointed out that not since the creation of Nigeria by the British has such a mindless and embarrassing exhibition been purveyed by a politician. Not even the military, known for their brash and unbridled display of raw naked power, dared to exhibit such recklessness. The present Nigeria requires that all those who serve and lead must do so by example. Their behavior and their public conduct must be in consonant with what society requires today. Therefore, we cannot continue to preach for the people to sacrifice without sacrificing too. The sacrifice must now start from the leaders, 
visible, measurable, at all times because the people are suffering. And we must now be at the forefront of the suffering, the campaign organization said. Obi therefore call for sacrifice by Nigerian leaders. He calls them to come out about two weeks after Tinibu in a democratic democracy day address on June 12, 2023, called on Nigerians to sacrifice more in the wake of the removal of subsidy on patrol by the federal government, which had not only pushed the cost of petrol up, but equally led to skyrocketing prices of goods and services. We should recall that P. Toby, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, during the presidential election of 2023, vowed to create jobs and secure Nigerians. In his statement, he stated, that after a careful study of the country, I noticed that we are too divided and I promise to lead a united and secure Nigeria to be able to attract foreign investment. Pitombi made the declaration while addressing traditional rulers and presidents general of the 181 communities in the state at government at the government house i have come to inform you of my intention to contest the 2023 presidential election and i need your support mr b tells the monarchs he narrated that after a careful study of the country he noticed that the country is too divided and he has promised to unite and secure Nigerians to be able to attract the foreign investment. We should also recall that he lost to our current president, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and the petition is currently ongoing in the courts. Obi's comment comes amid the outrage being expressed by Nigerians over the large convoy of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu during a recent visit to Lagos State. The candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, P2B, 